I guess uh, well, here more than anywhere I've ever been skunked in my entire life. Really? Yeah, dude, it's crazy. No, I usually uh, come here and catch some fish. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, I can show you actually. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. I have made it to the pond I'm gonna be fishing this morning. And I've fished here actually quite a few times from the bank. Now this pond here isn't very big, but there are some decent sized bass and chain pickerel in here. And the lure I'm gonna start off this morning is just a mega bass spark shad. This color is called lemon shad. Throwing that bait on just a little tenth of an ounce chartreuse jig head. And there we go. That's the uh, finished product here. And I just wanted to make this bait as perfectly straight as possible. Just to give it the best action. And I love the eyes on the Mega Bass Spark Shad. And just from past experience here, there is some good sized chain pickerel in here. And uh, pickerel are just basically a smaller version of pike. So I did kind of beef up my main line. Typically I'll go anywhere from like eight to 12 pound main line, but I beefed up a little bit today, all the way up to 14 pound line, just to help me with the teeth of the pickerel. And then I got that tied to 16 pound braid. And then I'm using a medium power St. Croix Premier Rod and a Shimano Stratic CI4 Plus. But enough talking, let's just get fishing. Huh, I had a bite and it just took the tail off. One bite, one spark shed. I'm rigging this up to be perfectly straight and basically weedless on this little Ned rig. As I go in through the mouth, only about like an eighth of an inch, the distance between the head of the bait and that keeper there. That's the only distance I wanna go into the spark shed and then I flip it around. And then, boom. Got him. First cast at the bridge. Where is he going though? That's the question. Good sized bass. All right, so first bit of shade I found 
right underneath the bridge I'm over top of right now. And this bass bit it with, uh, without even working it. This is a chunky bass too. Not very long, but really stocky. Let's go down by the snake. All right, goodbye fish. All right, so that's probably where the bass came out of. Basically, I've been fishing just all in the sun right now in some weeds, but the second I'm able to let my bait sit down at the bottom in some shade, I get that bass. All right, so uh, let's see if we can uh, find that pattern and really cast up underneath that bridge here. Underneath the bridge here. Oh, that's way back underneath there. Got him. Ooh. Which totally makes sense. There's probably not too much cover in this pond. Probably the same pickerel. I just hope he doesn't snap my line. I gotta take it easy on him. These things are just like mini pike. All right, don't snap my line, please. Ooh, perfect hook set. Just missed my line. But as you guys can see right there, these things have some gnarly teeth. So thankfully he didn't cut my line. Hey, not much. Um, using a little uh, swim bait. Oh uh, well. Here more than anywhere I've ever been skunked in my entire life. Really? Yeah, dude, it's crazy. No, I usually uh, come here and catch some fish. Do yeah. Yeah, um, I can show you actually. Right here. Oh, okay. Just a little swim bait. Yeah. Is that normal we use here? Um, I kind of switch it up. Yeah. Um, I throw a lot of jerk baits here okay. as well. Yeah. I find that like minnow imitation baits here work pretty well. Oh, okay. I'm assuming that's what they feed on yeah. for the most part here. Imagine, yeah. So. Yeah. Tip, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Best of luck. Thank you. Now this spark shed has incredible action for just a little bait. With these fins on the side of the bait, they're going to act like little stabilizers and it's going to make this swim super straight. And all this is is just a little subtle tail kick in the back which is honestly perfect for winter, perfect for summer. This is kind of like a, honestly, a really easy and really effective year round bait. So I'm about three quarters of the way around this pond and I only have a few bridge pilings left, but in my opinion, these bridge pilings are gonna have the highest probability of fish. So I'm gonna have to go real slow to get some of these bass to bite. I know that they're here. There's not too much cover in this pond other than just weeds. But I really think these bridge pilings are gonna hold some bass, so.
No. No. Nope, it snapped. Well, at least my leader not held up. All right, this is my last spark shed. And I switched over from, I think I started off the video by saying I was using a 10th of an ounce chartreuse head. I believe that was a fifth of an ounce because this one right here is a 10th of an ounce. Don't spit my lure, little bass. Thing was probably born last year. <laughs> little tiny bass. Got him. Another little bass. Little guy. No way. There goes my last spark shed. See if uh, we can catch something with no tail for a couple casts. I doubt it, but maybe if I just bounce it along the bottom, I can attract something. Got him, yep. I don't think it's very big, but... Oh, it's because it's a yellow perch. I've actually never caught a yellow perch here before. There you go, bud. In my backpack, I have maybe about 15, 20 minutes left. See if I can find something else to use in my backpack. Spark sheds, all gone. Well, uh, that was easy. I guess we're just gonna switch over to the Kitek. All right, so I'm headed to the last spot this morning. It's just a down tree. And then after that, I've run out of places to fish. So that is it for this morning and overall I did catch a few fish this morning but nothing really that big. I started off the morning using a Mega Bass Spark Shad in the 3 inch size in lemon shad color and that's what I used to catch the majority of my fish but the durability on that bait isn't the greatest. The action is really good, the durability is not really good. So I ran out of spark shads and then I switched over to the Kitek and I believe I caught one or two more fish on the Kitek. To go over what I was using again, I was using a tenth of an ounce net head and then I was using 14 pound line which is a little bit overkill for kind of the technique I was using today but uh, like I said earlier there's a lot of pickerel in this pond so 
I really didn't want to snap off to a pickerel. But uh, I gotta get home, get some sleep before I work tonight. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Peace.